Hello. Uh, I'd like to do another quick uh, take on the uh, hydrogen peroxide reaction catalyzed by yeast. Um, I've done this before, and I just want to show you another way of doing it. I have, I'm using 6% bleach, which is 20 volume clear bleach, which you can get at uh, beauty supply stores. But 3% uh, works fine. I'm going to add uh, 100 milliliters approximately to this uh, Gatorade bottle. I have the dry yeast in here, and I'm going to pour that in. Now remember that the, uh, the hydrogen peroxide reacts to form water and oxygen. And I used the burning splint, glowing splint test uh, last time, but uh, it does create a lot of smoke in a room, and I'm going to use a candle this time. So let's put it in. There's the yeast. The yeast has uh, the enzyme catalase, which catalyzes this reaction. And you can see it, it really flares up. I want, I'm going to keep shaking it. And it's very warm. Whoops, be careful. It is a strong oxidizing agent. Probably 3% would be better. It's so hot that the steam is coming off. Now, I'm going to use a candle, and the candle will not give off as much a much uh, smoke. So when we put the candle in there, you can see it, it glows very brightly. And you can blow it out, and well, it doesn't glow like a splint, so sometimes you don't get the glow. But it certainly is very much brighter because of the oxygen produced. But I can't, I can't get it to uh, reignite. I, I, I have been able to do it, but uh, the split works better, but it does uh, sometimes are hard to find, and, and also uh, it uh, produces a lot of smoke and smell. Hard to blow it out. <laughs> so this is a another take on a nice demonstration. Um, I would suggest using the three percent household hydrogen peroxide. It works fine. I guess it's pretty much react. Oh, there! I got it to go again. Good. Okay, so. Um, I think uh, that's a, a nice illustration of uh, a catalyzed reaction without producing a lot of uh, smoke in the room using the candle. Um, this reaction is catalyzed by a yeast, but uh, other things catalyze it. Uh, I've shown in previous demonstrations that iron 3 nitrate catalyzes it. You can use a potato, um, potassium. Uh, as um, manganese dioxide, I think, works as well. And there's just many things that catalyze this reaction. So thanks for your attention, and I'll see you next time.